Welcome back. Today's session is the second session in the series of lectures on rational number. In the previous session, we have already talked about what are rational numbers and why do we actually require a different number systems uh, called rational numbers. So today we would talk in more detail about rational numbers, do some stuffs on it so as to get more understanding on these number system. The first one is to represent them on a number line. So let's just draw one line and hope this is a straight line. So we represent here in the middle zero. We already know that the numbers on the right side of the zero are positive numbers starting from 1 and so on. They are the natural numbers and the 1 or you can call them positive integers. The 1 on the left side represented by a negative sign are negative integers. So. In this numbers, if I have to represent something as one half, we have already learned about this, that how to represent a fraction number on a number line. So how do we represent one half? One half we represent by dividing the whole number system in such a manner that it's basic it's basically like it's basically to represent something which is a half of one which we represent it between in the middle of zero and one which is here the second one is let's say about three by two three by two is something greater than 1 and less than 2 which represents between 1 and 2. The more easier way of understanding is something like this. If a number line is there, So we are recalling or revising what we have done for the fractions. This is 0 by 2. Then let's represent 1 by 2. This is 2 by 2. Again, 3 by 2. 4 by 2. So basically, what I'm trying to say here is this is equivalent to 0. This equivalent is 1. This is again 3 by 2, here 1 by 2, and the equivalent of this is 2. So when I say 1 by 2 and 3 by 2, so 1 by 2 lies between 0 and 1, and 3 by 2 lies between 1 and 2. So we already have learned about how to represent these fractions on a number line. The same thing applies to the negative numbers also. So when we say a negative number, a negative minus half, how do we represent them? As usual, it should be between minus 1 and minus 2. As we have 1 half between, uh, sorry, it should be between 0 and minus 1. As we had 1 half between 0 and 1. So here the minus 1 half should be between The same logic applies here that this will become minus 1 by 2, this becomes minus 2 by 2, this become minus 3 by 2 and so on if I include becomes minus 4 by 2. So minus 1 half lies between 0 and minus 1 and minus 3 by 2 lies between minus 1 and minus 2. So this was how to represent the positive rational numbers 
and the negative rational numbers on a number line. The rules remain same as fractions and the order that was in the negative side what we do is whatever is in the positive side it just when it comes to the negative side it just remains the same with a negative side but we have learned one more rule the rule is whenever there is a negative number the negative number which lies or the numbers which lies on the left side is always and always less than the number which lies on the right side so when i say here 1 0 is less than 1 same way minus 1 is less than 0 and same way minus 2 is less than minus 1 same thing applies to the positive number as 2 is greater than 1 the same rule applies to rational numbers also if i talk about minus half minus half is less than 0 and half is greater than 0 when it comes to minus 1 minus 1 is on the left side of minus half so is less than minus half but 1 is greater than half so it's the same thing what we had learned from integers in the comparison form the same rule applies on the negative side it's just the reverse order if it is 1 1 is greater than 0 but minus 1 is less than 0 the same thing applies to the rational numbers also minus 1 half is less than 0 but 1 half is greater than 0 so today we learned about how to represent the rational numbers on a number line and how do we compare the rational numbers which rational numbers are smaller and how do we represent them the next thing is to learn about how do we reduce reduce the rational numbers in their standard form now first of all what is the standard form okay before learning this i'll just give you an example there is a rational number 2 by 3 and there is a rational number which is 6 by 9 now there is a 2 by 3 and 6 by 9 do you think that these two numbers or these two fractions are same or equivalent fractions yes we already learned how when it comes to 2 by 3 if i am able to multiply by 3 by 3 which is again a 1 I am able to get an answer which is 6 by 9. So I can say that 2 by 3 is same as or equivalent to 6 by 9. So they are known as equivalent fractions. This is to recall from the fraction sections. Same rules applies to the rational numbers also. Or we already uh, said that the fractions are rational numbers we talked about positive we talk about the negative rational numbers so let's say minus 2 by 3 is there and if I multiply it by minus 3 by 3 what I am getting here is 6 by minus 9 so 6 by minus 9 is equivalent to minus 2 by 3 they are known as equivalent rational number now we had started the topic with the standard form what is the standard form the standard form of a rational number is when we do not have anything in common between the numerator and denominator let's say if it is a 6 by 9 and if i want to say that reduce this rational number into its standard form 
then there should not be any common factor between the two. Here the common factor is 3 by 3. So this becomes 2 and this becomes 3. So the reduced form for 6 by 9 is 2 by 3. Let's take another example of 10 by 15. If I have to reduce this, I leave the negative sign as it is. Here it comes to 2 5s are 10. So it comes here 2 and 3 5s are 15. So here the answer is minus 2 by 3. So the reduced form for minus 10 by 15 is minus 2 by 3. So we have talked about what is equivalent fractions, equivalent rational numbers, and how to reduce the rational number into their reduced form. Reduced form or the standard form. Okay, thank you for this session. We'll meet in the next session.